Hi, this is Sarah of Sites by Sarah. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to insert a PDF. Um, so you want to go ahead and just open the page or the post that you're editing. And in this case, I'm going to select the text PDF of the pre-consult questions. And I'm going to come up to my upload and insert. Now I've already inserted, I've already uploaded this PDF to my gallery. Okay. And so from there, I can go ahead and click Show. And then the link URL, sometimes this is blank and it just says None. I'm going to go ahead and put File URL. So since this is uploaded, this file to this specific location, it will link the title text to that file location, and I can tell it to Insert into Post. And there it's done it. Word document of the questionnaire, this is the exact same thing. I'm going to go ahead and tell it that I'm going to insert. Again, you can either select the file from your local machine, wherever you have it, or if you've already uploaded it somewhere to your media library or your gallery, just click on that tab at the top, select the appropriate link. Again, critical that the file link button is selected, and insert into post. And the reason why it put it this way we can go ahead and, and click on the on the link is we did not um, I didn't rename it it kinda defaulted to the name of what that file was so I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna go ahead and say word doc of the pre consult questions okay so, um, and for these, what I'll do, I'm going to go ahead and click on the insert link. Since it's a document, somebody might open it up, click print, and then X out of it. I still want them to be on my website. So I am going to go ahead and tell it to open a link in a new window. Same thing for this one. Open a link in a new window. And, uh, and then finally, um, how to add an email link. You just highlight the um, text that you want to have an, a link to. Click on Insert Hyperlink. And rather than HTTP, what you're going to have is mail to, M-A-I-L-T-O, colon, and then the email address, no spaces. Just simply insert it. And now I can update the page. And we can view the page and see that we have a couple of links here. We'll go ahead and um, this, when you mouse over it, it shows the email address where that's going to go. Um, I can click on the PDF. You see that it opened a new window, so when I X out of it, I'm still on the website. Click on the Word doc, it downloads. Okay, And here we are. So that's how you do that. Hope that's helpful to you. Thanks.